This is becoming a love-hate relationship. Let me show you what I mean. Ugh. That has never happened on the Arbiter. Ooh. I'm actually debating <laughs> debating if this is I can't even say it better than the original Arbiter? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hunky Vape. I'm your host, DJ Alex, and today we're taking a look at the Kylin 3 RTA. So ain't nothing to it, but to get into it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're finally getting a chance to take a look at the Kylin 3 RTA from the classic Kylin series. We had the Kylan V1, we had the Kylan V2, we had the Mini V2, we had the Kylan M, and they finally come out with the Kylan V3, and quite honestly, I wasn't that impressed with it. I left a comment on Legion's Lair's, Legion Vape's review of this thing. So as you can see, uh, I really didn't think it was that good. But unfortunately, I do a weekly live show on this channel and well, Kenny got himself to Kylan V3 and he kept talking about how fantastic it was. About how it's got this honeycomb airflow that is so wonderful. And unlike what Steve's review stated, it isn't spongy. It's got massive cloud chucking capabilities and it's got a beautiful six milliliter capacity tank that you could literally dump the e-liquid into the top because it is that wide open on the top. Supporting single or dual coil options when you build it, massive juice capacity, cloud chucking capability. Oh, is this thing going to be better than the original Arbiter that I love so much and use every single day? Except when the batteries are dead. All right, all right, all right, all right. The only way to find out if this thing's any good is to flip it, unbox it, and take a look for ourselves. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, here before us today is the Kylan V3. Wow. Is that a beautiful tank? Classic stainless steel. Attention to detail. Clearly protruding 510 pin. Quarter turn to remove the top. And that is actually quite tight. Oh man. They aligned it. There's an alignment notch in here for the airflow to separate the airflow from the juice control. So you need to make sure that it is properly aligned for that to drop in there. And that is beautifully tensioned. I wonder if that tension is going to loosen up once we put some e-liquid in there. That takes a considerable amount of force to open. And once it's lined up properly, it goes in there very easily. How about the top? There's the airflow opening. Nice appropriate amount of tension in there for you to be able to easily adjust the airflow 
and customize it to your heart's content. I typically like mine wide open. The top of this unscrews to reveal massive juice wells. That's also going to prevent you from overfilling this tank. Because don't you hate it when you fill the tank all the way up and then all of a sudden, when you put the lid on, you flood your tank? Well, as long as you don't fill this all the way to the very brim, there's always gonna be a considerable amount, of, considerable amount of air in there to prevent this from oversaturating your coils. Maybe this is a good thing. Oh man. And that bottom really is tight on there for that quarter turn. Is this going to replace my Arbiter? Oh boy. Let's take a look at this airflow. Honeycomb airflow. I need to compare that with the V2 airflow, which was massive, way too much for what was in that tank. And look, honeycomb airflow on the sides. Allen head screws. Wow. What else comes in this package? Oh, is that tight in there? All right. Our usual attachments, a 10 to 510 drip tip adapter, a multitude of O-rings, spare grub screws, and an Allen key for those of you that do not have your own specialty tools yet. Included coils, Triple fuse Clapton coil, 28 gauge times three, wrapped in 38, NI-80, specifying the material, supposed to ohm out at 0.41. It's a six wrap, three millimeter inner diameter coil. Wow, that looks really nice. Big massive fold out, user manual. Okay. An included cutting tool set to seven millimeters for your coil length. All right. I'm getting excited now, ladies and gentlemen. This thing looks, looks like it's a real competitor for the best RTA ever. We actually have something that might be able to compete with this one. Well, let's get these coils cut to the proper length.
got too close to the sun Maybe in another life We could have worked it out But we got too close to the sun Beautiful threads. So how is this thing going to taste? All right. It says 0.2 ohms. 30 watts isn't going to be enough. Let's start off at like 55. And that's on the Jackaroo. Beautiful, amazing flavor. But 55 watts isn't enough for this device. Let's go up to 60. Holy cow, was that a saturated vape? Sixty-five watts. Now we're starting to get a little throaty with this liquid. I'm gonna go use this for a while, and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Every time. Well, not every time. Okay, this is the third time. This is becoming a love-hate relationship. Let me show you what I mean. If the e-liquid gets low in here, here's what happens. Yeah. Spit back. A beautiful wet saturated vape. But every time the tank gets low, it floods the airway. And then you get a mouthful of juice on your first inhale. Time to rewake this. Ugh. That has never happened on the Arbiter. This Kylan 3 is truly a love-hate relationship. <sighs> Let's flip it. Look at the waking. Huh. I don't understand how this can happen. There's no reason why it should be leaking through here. There's no reason for it to be leaking there. The cotton wicking is all the way up against this thing. Look how saturated that is. This is after 60 mils of e-liquid. All right, let's clean it, dry burn it, and re-wick it. Feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick. And 
in the world gotta get it right now people talk and tell what you wanna hear now but they all disappear they will let you down so we better stick together let's come whatever when i come in Let's see. That's why I don't like tops that aren't quarter turn. Beautiful, wet, fully saturated vape. All right, I'm going to go back, try using it again. And I guess I'll be back with my final thoughts. Right See you on the flip side. Yeah, push over the limits with you right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for my final thoughts. I've been working on this one. This is probably the longest review the longest time it's taken me to do a review on a product because quite honestly, it had a very high threshold and a high bar to meet and exceed to be classified as the best RTA ever. Is it the best RTA ever? Well, the most honest opinion I can give you is maybe. Listen, for me, the original Arbiter is going to hold its place as the best RTA ever. And when it comes to flavor, if you're a flavor chaser, well, the Arbiter 2 is gonna take the place of the best flavor chasing RTA ever. But I'd be negligent in my duties to not tell you that the Kylan 3 falls exactly between those two in some aspects. I mean, we've gotten to the point now these RTAs and these tanks that these companies have been putting out are just so fantastic. You can't go wrong with any of them. That's the God honest truth. You can't go wrong with any of them. So is it gonna be replacing my Arbiter? No, I got six of them. I'm not gonna stop using them, but it is gonna fall into my rotation and it is gonna be used on a regular basis. And to be honest with you, I need to review these two. 
the Blaze and the Blaze Solo, because from what I've been hearing, these are just as good, if not better than the Kylan. So I can't give you a recommendation to say that that's the best RTA ever if there's a bunch of RTAs that I haven't tried yet. So that's on my to-do list and look for those reviews coming up soon. I will be unboxing these ones and getting the initial part of the recording done, but I've tried everything. And you know me, I wanna verify everything. And the biggest thing for me was, can it do a single coil? The answer is yes, but it can't do a six millimeter coil. It can only do a five millimeter coil and you gotta cut the lead length to six millimeters. And then when you drop them in, you gotta pull them up half a millimeter to make sure that that's nice and tight and stretched in there. And as you saw in this video, if one of your coils isn't burning exactly the same as the other one, you're gonna get a super saturated vape but eventually you're going to also get a buildup of e-liquid inside that chamber and you're going to get nothing but spit back and it's just going to be a pain in the wazoo. So make sure when you're putting these coils in, you dry burn them and you verify that they burn exactly the same. And if you do that and you cut them at six, six and a half millimeters, not the seven millimeters that the package tells you to cut them, you will have a beautiful saturated vape that fully represents whatever e-liquid you choose to put in there. Mm. From a beautiful hunky Hawaiian punch to a nice flat white coffee, whatever e-liquid you have will perform wonderfully in the Kylan 3. It is the pinnacle of the Kylan series and one that I'm going to be proud to have in my rotation. So with that, my wish is always peace, love, and a hunky vape to end cigarette combustion. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I can't believe I thought a six millimeter coil was going to fit in there. And who would have thought a 2.8 millimeter was going to be so much better than a three? First thing I ever did was learn how to make my own coils.